Jessica Biel has really shocked me, and in a good way. I had no idea she had this much talent. Let's get right into Candy. Candy is a magnificent series. It is based on a true story, and that makes it even more interesting because of the simple fact of the events that took place are mind-boggling, even just as something that's not true. And for this to be a true story, it's, it's just, man, I can't even believe it. But more importantly, can we talk just for a moment about Jessica Biel? Now, I remember Jessica Biel from being a teenager and being on uh, Seventh Heaven, and she was this beautiful teenage girl, you know, and I just remember her from that, you know, from that show. And since then, I, I'm trying to, I don't really remember seeing her. I know she's done a lot of things, of course, um, since then. However, I can't remember if I've took the time to watch any of her movies. And no reason. Um, I always liked her on Seventh Heaven. I don't know why I haven't seen any of her movies or, you know, anything that she's done. But I was pleasantly surprised. Let's just put it there, leave it there. And I'm definitely going to have to look up Jessica Biel's other movies and check her out. I had no idea she had this range. I was very impressed. Very, very, very impressed with her acting skills. Okay, now back to Candy. Candy is about this lady. She's a housewife. Basically, it was in a small town in Texas. So everybody was pretty much close-minded. Everyone lived basically the same kind of life, you know, and kind of thought the same way, if you will. And also this took place back in the 80s. So of course, things weren't as progressive as they are now. So this lady was caught up in this life of living this boring housewife existence. And she wanted some spice, you know, and she went out and got her some spice by way of sleeping with her friend's man. And that led to drama, 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 and more drama because that it led to all kinds of issues, including someone losing their life. So this show has so many twists and turns. And did I mention? No, I didn't mention. Let me go ahead and insert that Justin Timberlake is also in this movie. Justin Timberlake, who is also Jessica Biel's husband. I had almost forgot about that until I saw Jessica Biel on, uh, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel, and she mentioned Justin. And I'm like, that's right. They got married and they had children. I remember Justin Timberlake was with Cameron Diaz for a long time. And then after that, he ended up getting with, um, I guess, Jessica Biel. And, you know, they're still together to this day. At any rate, that was just a little bit of little fun fact there, but Jessica Biel is in the show and she does an excellent job. And then I forgot Justin Timberlake also dimbled and dabbled in acting and he did, a, he's doing a phenomenal job as well. Now, so far I am on episode, I've gotten through episode four and I started episode five, but I haven't completed it. So I need to complete episode five, but so far this has been mind boggling. It is intense. It is crazy. It's just, I just can't even believe that this lady was like this. Like this lady was this freaking crazy. But it just goes to show in life when people are repressed, it can lead them to do crazy things. Now, not this crazy, but I'm saying like when people are repressed, I've talked about this in past videos, it does affect people in a lot of different ways. And most people just end up being depressed you know, or developing things like certain types of disorder, um, disorders, you know, mental, some people end up overeating, some people end up not eating, you know, things like that. However, with her, she took it, this lady took it to the extreme. Now, I have to be honest, I've never heard of this story. So I'm definitely going to have to go and research all these people that are in the in the series and find out like more about them. I would love to know like, the real lady, like, you know, like see her, what she looks like and all that. But I usually do that after I finish the series because I don't want any spoilers, which is why I'm not telling you guys too much because I am recommending 
this to you. Anyway, just watch it. There's not much more I can tell you but to just watch it. You get to see Justin Timberlake playing a 1980s uh, police officer, and he is playing the part to a T. He, he's perfection playing this part. I want to touch on one other thing. There is the lady, the other lady in the um, show, Betty. She is, she did a phenomenal job as well. This lady, her name is Melanie uh, Lins Lins Linsky. She always plays, I feel like I always see her like more like independent type films, but she is a phenomenal actress. I always like her. She always, to me, kind of plays the same type of mannerism. She has the same type of mannerism or mannerisms in all of her um, acting roles. I feel like she's always kind of like not too loud. She's always kind of quiet. And, but even though she's kind of quiet like that, all of her acting is really good. You know, like she does a really good job and I always enjoy her in films and she did not disappoint on this one either. I really enjoyed her. I thought she did a fantastic job. And one thing about her um, that I like about Melanie Linsky, I feel like she is like, she looks like a real person. Like she looks like someone who you can see um, every day, like walking down the street. So I like that about her. The fact that she's like an actress and she gets these, you know, good roles and everything, but she still seems really like relatable to a certain degree because she just looks like someone that you can just see as you're walking your dog in your neighborhood. At any, at any rate, there's also, um, I wanted to talk about Jessica Biel's accent she did such a good job with her Texas accent that I had to Google where the heck she was from because I'm like, is she from Texas? I mean, she had, when it comes to the accent, great job. Now, Justin, I'm not going to give him too much credit because he is from like Mississippi or somewhere in the South. So it was easy for him to drag up that accent. But Jessica Bill, you know, she is not from uh, the South. Now, granted, I know celebrities do accents all the time, British accents and all that, but I just felt like she nailed the Texas accent down to a T and she's actually from Minnesota. So, you know, they, they definitely don't have a Southern accent in Minnesota. So great job on that as well. Um, doing the accent. Actually, I want to say like the whole entire cast, I loved how they nailed the Texas accent because it did make you feel, it, it felt more authentic because they did such a great job with the accents, the wigs and the costumes were amazing. That really put you in the mind frame of Texas. It was so crazy to look at like so this set. This was set place like in the 80s. It was so odd, like how everything looked like all the brown carpets and the, the, the kind of yellow and brown thing for the um, houses, like the color schemes were just kind of off. Like it just looked really, really like, wow, was that cool back then? And I know it was because they like some of the families were, you know, like they had, you know, they weren't like poor or anything. A lot of them had, some of them had like money to where they could decorate however they wanted, obviously. And that was like the style back then, which now to look at it now, it just looks awful. It's like, wow, that was like what was in. It's crazy because now we're like, we want hardwood floors. We want this, we want that, you know, like just totally opposite, like more of a lighter brighter type um, environment and back then they it was so dark and brown and dingy looking to me but that's neither here nor there they did a great job doing that though because it did put you in the mind of you know the 80s like what the 80s looked like and of course there was like they didn't have cell phones they showed like they they had like a real like a phone and the you know like a house phone and you know it just took you to a different era and they did a good job executing that because I don't, in my opinion, I don't think they missed a beat. I think they really, really covered the eighties very well. I think, um, it wasn't like sometimes when you watch shows that are set place and you know, like the past, it just looks like it's 2020 and they just kind of glossed over it a little bit, but you still feel like you're looking at something from 2020, if you will, or I'm sorry, 2022. You feel like you're still looking at something from modern times is what I'm trying to say. But with this one, I didn't, it didn't feel modern at all. It felt like it was, you know, back then. So good job with the cine cinematography, good job with the accent and accents and the costumes. I loved it. 
At any rate, guys, this is a very suspenseful show. This lady was crazy. She was, um, I mean, it was just insane, basically, what took place here. And I can't even believe that someone would go to this extreme. And I want so bad to tell you guys more, but if I do, it's going to ruin the whole thing. So what I want you to do now, if you haven't watched it, is to go watch it. And if you have watched it, comment below and let me know what you thought about it. Did you love it as much as I did? Do you think this was a great recommendation or do you think the movie sucked? Or no, the series. <laughs> did you think the series sucked? I loved it. I think it's amazing. Otherwise, of course, I wouldn't be recommending it to you. And I'm going to end it right there. Just go watch it. Until next time, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.